Hi, this is Tony, and we're back on the bench. And this evening, just wanted to do a, a quick special little session on frozen ball bearings or rusted ball bearings that you can't uh, seem to free up and get loose. And so I just wanted to do like a, a quick little video on that. So this is a, a, a couple of ball bearings here that are out of a, a pen squitter, a Model 140. And this is the, the non-handle side bearing here, and then this is the handle side bearing. And you can see that, that you know, there's actually some rust damage here. Uh, but uh, uh, but these both these bearings were totally frozen up in, in this uh, squitter that, that belongs to a friend of mine. And, you know, I, I told him that, you know, we can replace these parts, but it's going to be expensive. I mean, right here alone is probably about $30 worth in parts after shipping and tax and whatnot. Uh, so, you know, if, if you buy them brand new, like on eBay or mysticparts.com, uh, and as, as much as I like, uh, having new parts in, in vintage reels, uh, sometimes it's just not practical on the pocketbook. Uh, so what we have here is, is a container. And as you can see, there's some penetrating fluid in there, but these, uh, th these, these bearings were so frozen up that I, I could not do anything with them for, for days and days and days. So what I did do is, uh, I took some, PB blaster, uh, and I I basically just sprayed them down in there and let them soak for 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 many hours, days, and and eventually um, they they started to free up a little bit, but they didn't free up completely. Uh, what I would run into is is I would run into you know the 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 inside of the bearing just kind of turning a little bit but not completely around as, as you're seeing me do here with the screwdriver how i'm able to turn that completely around as it's supposed to uh it was just kind of breaking up just a little bit and i just get a couple little couple little tiny little movements in there but it wouldn't do the full turn and that was pretty much the same for the inside of this bearing here too and it's it's pretty hard to get in there with anything to to actually get it to turn but it does actually turn uh now so uh so having said that um you know you just have to be patient uh you have to be patient with these penetrating oils i also did uh, get a little help from crc power lube as well and i kind of zapped that in there and let that sit for a little while too but eventually it did free up and so if you're having problems with that uh, my recommendation is is you know th those are some good products uh, I know Liquid Wrench also makes some good products for, for breaking up that kind of stuff. Uh, Deep Creep is something that I've also experimented with, and I've had some decent results with that. The PEB Blaster, I think you really can't go wrong, and it's cheap. Uh, you know, it's not super expensive. It doesn't smell good, though. That's the only downside. So uh, so that's, that, that's, in a nutshell, basically it. If you got rusted or frozen bearings, that's that's a trick that you can do and deploy to uh to, to do that and, and hopefully save uh, save yourself a little bit of money so that's uh that's pretty much the purpose of this video so uh thanks again for watching and uh if you like the video give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more please subscribe and we'll see you next time